Okay then, Leo, this is Renee and welcome back. Hey there, this is going to be your next three months. What you can expect, what you don't see coming. Um, what's coming forward for you in the next three months. So we're going to take a look. Um, if this reading resonates, please like, subscribe, and hit that bell. If it doesn't, go ahead and take a look at your other placements, okay? Make sure to stick around to the end. I'll be pulling an angel number for you. I've got um, the angel numbers, and I think I'm going to incorporate them in most of my readings because they're beautiful cards. Um, they have a beautiful message, and I feel like, you know, you can always... Uh, do more research on what the angel number means, what it can mean to you, okay? But I feel like there's a clear message on each number. Okay, let's go ahead and get into this for you, Leo. What's going on for Leo in the next three months? Let's see, and cards just want to jump out here. We have the Ten of Action. You're working too hard. The angels are asking you to find a healthy balance between your career and your personal life. Be willing to ask for help from others in order to lighten your load so that you can take better care of yourself. Straining to make others happy can be harmful to your health. Okay, so I feel like Spirit is letting you know that you're working too hard, that there's a lot going on for you right now, that, you know, there may be a lot of things that are overwhelming you. But, you know, Spirit is also letting you know to ask for help when you need to. Maybe you're doing too much, you're putting too much energy in a situation, you're working too hard, and you need to take care of yourself as well. Okay, so Spirit wants you to take care of yourself, you know, take notice of the way that you're feeling, Leo, okay, because I know that you, you're a hard worker, you really, you know, put yourself out there, and I know you're strong like the lion, but, I, you know, sometimes even the lion needs some rest, okay, so let's get another message for Leo. <clears throat> we have partnership. Allow healthful, supportive partnerships into your personal life and career, and both parties benefit as a result. You are receiving help from heaven and from a person who brings needed skills and resources. So this is another card. You know, someone's definitely looking out for you. Someone is really looking out for your well-being. They want to help. I feel like spirit wants you to know that they see all of the hard work that you're doing and they want you to know that help is on the way you know you are being divinely guided that spirit wants to help you through your situation to help you um take care of yourself take care of your own needs because i feel like you know you're putting yourself out there so much to where i feel like you're taking care of others and you may not be taking care of yourself okay let's go ahead and get another message for leo yep here we go what did i say health i will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul so I feel like that is the strong focus of this message. That spirit really wants you to look at your health. They want to look at your well-being. Okay. Um, let's get another message for Leo. Okay. We also have forgiveness. So there may be someone in your life who needs forgiveness, or this person may be you, Leo. Maybe you need forgiveness from someone who's close to you. But there's someone in your life who is asking for your forgiveness, asking to be um, exonerated <laughs> from something that was done, okay? So, okay, let's take a look at the tarot. What we're going to do is we're going to take a look at something that you need to release. We're going to take a look at something that needs to be released out of your life so more good can come in the next three months. Okay? So, messages for Leo. What needs to be released for Leo for their greater good? 
judgment. Wow. Okay. And the Knight of Swords. You know, every sign I've done so far has gotten the Knight of Swords. So there is some kind of thinking that needs to be released in all of us. This is another card that has been um, gotten in most of the readings. Judgment is new. Judgment is new. So um, I feel like there needs to be a change in your thinking, of course. But I do feel like you judge yourself very harshly. I feel like you need to change your perspective on the way you see yourself, the way you see life in general. Because I feel like you see life as having to work so hard for the things that you're receiving. But, you know, working hard is not just it. I feel like, you know, there needs to be a shift in your thinking. There has to be a, uh, a belief system change for you to not judge yourself so harshly, okay? Uh, not feel like you have to work your hands to the bones or, you know, be so tired um, to gain, okay? Because you don't have to work so hard to gain success. Okay, you do have to work, you know, but you can do things in other ways. Um, and I feel like you, you're judging yourself way too hard. Your, your thinking is needing a, a mind shift. Okay, and I feel like that, that may be um, limited beliefs or limited thinking that maybe you have obtained since childhood you know maybe your parents always told you you know money doesn't grow on trees or you know you have to work hard you don't have any time to play you know you have to get your chores done there's nothing to do you know you can't go outside until this is done you can't uh, leave the table until all your food is gone you know those mindset beliefs we need to get rid of you know you know they were meant for our greater good at that moment but as adults they're actually putting us in this spirit of lack like you have to eat all your food because there may not be any later you know people over in a certain country don't have enough food to eat and you have this full plate you know but i mean that's that's like lack mentality so there's a mind shift that needs to be changed here you need to change your thinking you need to think more positively about yourself and about your surroundings you know um there's good books out there good audios that you can listen to to help shift your mindset to help get a better perspective on you know manifesting on um releasing the lack mentality okay and i feel like that mind that mind shift will help you greatly i also feel like you know you're very hard on yourself i feel like you're your own hardest critic you judge yourself very harshly you feel like you may not have enough training you may not have um enough ability but you do you do. You just judge yourself very too harshly. Okay? And I know that doesn't make sense, but I'm saying it anyway. You're judging yourself very too harshly. Okay? And <laughs> Don't judge me. Okay. Let's go ahead and take a look at what may be challenging you, Leo. Okay? Let's see what's challenging you. What challenges are you overcoming in this next three months? Okay, the Seven of Wands. The King of Pentacles. And the Hierophants. Okay. Okay. So. Wow. Okay. So I feel like you're challenged. You're challenged, Leo. Your challenge is to
I'm getting a few different things from this card, but your challenge is, is to, to kind of set your boundaries accordingly. Um, I feel like there may be people around you who um, may be putting a lot of pressure on you. They're putting a lot of pressure on you to succeed. Maybe you have a family and um, someone feels like you're not doing enough, but I feel like you're doing your best. Okay, um, I feel like you need to set boundaries. You need to put yourself first in some situations. I also feel like in some instances, I feel like there's there's a few relationships that you need to kind of put your guard down and let them in so that they can help. Okay, I feel like with I feel like you've got your guards up with everyone. And you're not willing to let your guards down with the people who truly have good intentions for you. The people who truly want to help. Okay? So in some instances, I feel like there's some people that you need to raise that guard up with. And to stick up for yourself. To stand up for yourself. To stand your ground. But with some people, there's a few. There's a few around you, Leo. I feel like you need to let your guard down and let someone in to help okay because i do feel like there's someone around you who wants to help but i feel like your guards are up and they're not quite sure where to step in to help you at okay so that is a challenge for you to really take notice of the people who have good intentions for you and the people who are just trying to use you for their own gain okay and um i feel like you know Another challenge is for you to gain a better understanding of what is making you more stable, what is making you more reliable in your situation. I feel like a challenge is for you to find someone who is loyal because I feel like some you've been burned so many times, Leo. I feel like you feel like there's no one who's loyal. You know, I feel like you, you're constantly putting people to the test. You're constantly you like seeing how they react to certain situations to kind of test them. Okay. And I, I feel like, you know, that's a challenge for you because you are not accepting people for face value. You're digging deeper, which is good. But I feel like you're putting people through tests, through unnecessary tests to see how they're how they react. Okay, um, we also have the Hierophant. So I feel like you know there's something that's going to be challenging you to learn more about something. And um, if you take a look at the Hierophant and its meaning. The Hierophant is a spiritual leader. He's a spiritual guide. He can also be a teacher and a, um, they also call him the Pope, okay? But uh, he's sitting in between two pillars. Those pillars are the pillars of obedience and disobedience, okay? So he's sitting in between, but he wants to do, do the right thing. He wants to give you the right information. So I feel like, you know, your challenge, I feel like you're kind of struggling with the right thing to do. You're struggling with obedience or disobedience. You know, do you do the right thing or do you do the wrong thing and get ahead? Okay, so I feel like you're struggling with that information. But if you really take a look at your spiritual side do you really want to be disobedient in order to get ahead or do you really want to be this person of integrity and do it the right way you know but you need to research and look into better ways of doing things the right way okay because there are easier ways of getting ahead than to you know work yourself to the bone or you know but and I feel like that's what you will be researching in the next three months I feel like you're looking into this you're finding a better mindset a better way okay and I hope that makes sense for you Leo okay 
Lastly, we're going to take a look at your blessings. What's coming in for Leo that you may not be expecting? What's coming in for Leo? What big blessings are coming in? Okay, ooh, change. Changes are being made. Temperance, okay. Ace of Wands, wow. And the Eight of Cups, I'm liking it. We also have the Emperor, okay. All right, we're gonna move these out of the way because I wanna get to them. Okay, Leo, I feel like big changes. These are big changes that are happening in the next three months. There's changes that you're making that is going to affect the rest of the year for you. Okay? And these changes are starting to occur in the next three months. I feel like these changes are something that you may have been waiting for. I feel like, you know, an ending is just the beginning. Okay, it's never an ending. There's never truly an ending because after the, an ending, there's always a new beginning. There's always some kind of transformation and change. Okay, so this tower is not something to be afraid of because we all, we, we go through towers all the time and you may not even realize it, you know, but I feel like this tower is happening to create a big change. To create more balance and this blessing to come through. Okay? Um, something that you've been waiting for to happen. You may have been patiently waiting. But this is a real blessing. And you are getting it after this tower. After these changes are made. You know? There's something that's happening that's pushing you to this new beginning. Okay, and I feel like, you know, this is the after tarot. So this change in this adaptation to your situation is going to push you into this new beginning. Look at this. We have the tower and we have a new beginning. So spirit is divinely telling you, you know, that you, you have evolution happening here. There's huge transformation. Because with this Eight of Cups, yeah, you may have felt like you lost something. But look, there's something more important that she's focused on. Okay? So I feel like, you know, you may lose something during this tower. Okay? Something might be gone. But it's something that had to go to bring in something better. Okay? Her only focus is this cup. Where these cups may have just had Kool-Aid, you know, this cup has champagne, okay? So I, I feel like there's something better, there's something bigger, there's something greater in store for you. This new beginning, this new creative venture. This may be a spark of energy that really gets you moving, but I feel like it's bringing a lot more control. It's bringing a lot more focus. Um, the emperor is also a, um, a natural entrepreneur, okay? He's also great at manifesting whatever he desires. So I feel like you're learning how to take more control of your situation. You're learning how to truly manifest the things that you desire. You're, you're learning how to put that creative thoughts into nature maybe you like to paint maybe you like to draw and now you're actively pursuing that as a side hustle as a gift or you know some kind of situation um, but i feel like there's some kind of side hustle that you're pursuing that's going to bring in a lot of promotion a lot of growth okay so um i feel like there's a lot of changes happening for you Leo, and I feel like some of them may be very unexpected with this tower here. Some may be very unexpected, but I feel like, you know, once you see the big picture, I feel like you're going to be very happy with the outcome. 
okay so let's go ahead and take a look at what is coming in for leo in love let's see what's going on for leo in love what's happening in leo's love life please Okay, we have keys on a ring, many options, decisions. Okay, one night stand. Okay, Leo, I see you. Okay, and we also have stabbed in the back, heartbreak, pain, separation. So I feel like, you know, maybe you've been stabbed in the back a few times. So you're trying to see what your options are. Maybe you're not committed to one person at the time. And maybe you're not sure if you want to make that commitment. But I, I feel like, you know, there is someone that you're seeing. There is someone that you're spending time with. We're going to go ahead and get some messages for Leo. Let's see. We have time to laugh more. Get out and enjoy life. Okay. You'll get the money you need very soon. Okay, let's see what else do we have for Leo. Good things are just around the corner. Okay, we're going to get one more. I am sorry I have issues from a past relationship. Okay, so that is what I have for you. Let's see, let's get one more. Okay, we have I will talk to you soon. Okay, so those are the messages that I have for you in love, Leo. So if they resonate, yeah, take them how they how they how they resonate. And uh, now let's go ahead and take a look at your manifestation moonology. What card do we have for manifestation moonology, please? What messages for Leo? Okay, we have first quarter moon in Pisces. Honor your feelings. Okay, take notice how you feel um, and honor the way that you feel. We have first quarter moon in Leo. Be humble. Okay, beautiful. At the bottom, we have um, be proud of yourself. So there's something that you're doing that, that you know, I, I was feeling that you're judging yourself way too harshly, you know, and I feel like, you know, you need to be kind to yourself, Leo. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's see. We'll get some more oracles here. See what other messages we have for Leo. What other messages do we have for Leo? We have ease and grace. Actually, Cancer got the same message. Um, we also have listen deeply. Okay, there's someone who wants to give you some kind of information. They want you, they want to speak to you, but they want you to really listen to what they have to say. They want you to listen and hear and understand. Okay, this may be spirit. This may be someone around you. So use your intuition, use your gut. If it's spirit, if this is someone around you, listen with intention, okay? Listen to what they have to say and take that in, okay? Because someone has something very deep that they need to say to you. Okay, let's go ahead and get another card for Leo. Okay, we have Cosmic Gateway. Your thoughts are magnetic and powerful. Miraculous changes are occurring. Okay, those are those changes we were talking about. Okay, we have transcendent, transcendent, transcendence. I'm sorry, <laughs> my throat has a mind of its own. Okay, we have transcendence. Rise up and honor your inner voice inner force rise up and honor your inner force steps are being given dance with the universe okay <laughs> one more okay and we have soul flame rediscover a lost part of yourself experience relationship with harmony and healing okay beautiful 
Okay, now we're going to go ahead and get an angel number for Leo. What else? Okay, well, this one wanted to fall out right away. Okay, we have 1515, creativity. Maybe that's why we got so much fire here. That spark, that creative action, creative nature. Um, you could be an artist or someone who does something creatively. Okay, uh, 1515, keep assessing the creative connection that you feel with to the divine. The whispers speak through your creative connection, allowing you to express the beauty that is within you and, the, and connect you to love that is around you. Okay, your affirmation, creativity is my birthright. As I express my creativity, I feel a beautiful flow of love and connection. Okay, so... See, that's what we have for you at this time, Leo. So, if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. Take a look at your moon rising in Venus for more clarity. And I have those in your March uh, playlist, so you'll be able to find those very easily. I'll attach them so you can find it. And until your next reading, Leo... Many blessings to you, love and light.